Is your website throwing 404 errors for Apple Touch icons? If it is, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 202 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. This video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site. And while you are there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA, you'll get your first month free. Okay, so uh, I was doing work on a client site today, and also he's also a friend of mine. And uh, I noticed I was getting these 404 errors for all kinds of different files that were Apple Touch icons. I've looked into it, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Let's turn our attention to the screen right now. All right, so like I said, I'm working on my client site, my friend's site. He is Rick August from SmartDriveTest.com. So uh, since I'm using a site, hey, if you need uh, some driving lessons or want to watch some videos or need to learn to drive, especially if you've got a young person in your house, uh, check out this site. Uh, now, how did I know about these errors? Well, in this particular case, in the back end of the site, I was using 4SEO from Weebler. And uh, they have a, this, uh, you can see a video about this on my channel, this extension when uh, Yannick Gauthier was on here showing it to me. And, and to us, but there's a section in 4SEO where you can go down and you can see recorded errors. And you'll see right now I'm displaying 404 errors that have occurred in the last day. And here are the most, uh, the, the, the files that have been generating 404s the most. Now, this is not this many times in the day. This is how many times since 4SEO has been logging them. But you will see here we have uh, Apple Touch icon Apple Touch Icon Precomposed, Apple Touch Icon 120 by 120, here's Precomposed 120 by 120, 152, 152, and you'll see here that they're not in a folder. Something is looking for this file in the root of the Joomla install. Now, what is it? It is Apple products. It is Safari. It is um, uh, things looking to uh, create an icon to represent this website on uh, on Apple devices and it doesn't exist there and so um, we need to create those and upload them and we'll fix that problem because 404s are bad for S, uh, SEO uh, you might not even see this if you're not testing using Safari uh, if for instance Chrome developer if you're just on a Windows machine this isn't going to show up as a missing link I don't think it does I've not noticed it anyways how do we create these icons well, let's do this. Let's go to iconifier.net. I'll put all the links in the description of this video. But really cool thing about iconifier.net, it is run by a fellow Joomla person. It is run by uh, webalicious.com, Neil Robertson. So uh, be sure to uh, give him a shout out, thanking him for this free service. All right, what are we going to do here? we're going to make all the version of the icon that we need. So first of all, we need to start out with a square graphic that represents, that's going to represent the site that you want to, that you're working on. I already have that here, my friend's logo. We'll go choose file. I'm going to upload this square logo. It's a PNG. I'm going to go open and now I'm going to click iconify. Next, you will see after that's been made, here we have all the different versions of the uh, of the icons to be used. And we even have a favicon.ico. Stay tuned for a pro tip at the end of this video, uh, near the end of this video, of uh, something that you should do with your favicon or favicon.ico uh, file. Now, you could right click on all these and save them, but um, we, uh, Neil has it so that you can download a zip file. So why don't we just do that right now? We'll click on the zip file. We're going to download it to a folder. Here's the folder I'm putting it in right there. And we have a couple options. Now you can unzip this folder or decompress this folder uh, using whatever method you want to. Here on Windows 10 and I'm using Chrome Brave Browser, uh, you can just click on the zip file. Now. That will open up a window here on my other screen. I'll move it over. 
And so there's iconify.zip and we've got a folder with those um, images in there. All right, well, what I'm going to do, instead of clicking extract on this folder, I'm just gonna right click and copy it. I'm going to go up one folder and I'm gonna paste it. All right, so it just leaves things zipped for me to use later, but right here I've got the unzipped files. Now, all I need to do is uh, take these, um, these individual graphic files, these individual icon files, Apple Touch icon files, and upload them to my file space. Now, like I said, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some uh, pro stuff here. Now to do that, you know, however you upload files to your web hosting uh, control panel, let me show you, here we are, um, the one that I use at my company that I provide hosting for my clients uh, is uh, cPanel. You would go into File Manager, I already have it open here, you go to the folder where your Joomla site is installed, the root folder, and that's where this is here. And you're simply going to upload all those images. Now you could upload the zip file, right click on it and extract it. All those images would go where you want, or you could even do this. We will go and click upload. And in cPanel, you get this option. Now over here, I'm going to select all of these. I'm also going to select the favicon.ico just to leave it in the root, just in case something ever looks for it there. All right, I've selected those over here. I'll just leave it this way. I'll drag that over. I'm going to copy, upload those super quick. All right, we'll go back and look at this. We will reload and you'll see now I have all those Apple Touch icons and I'm not going to have those pesky 404 errors anymore. And that is going to be nice. All right, now I mentioned about the pro tip. Here it is. Uh, when you download uh, your favorite, uh, when you download these from um, from the um, d -d 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 from the iconifier.net site, uh, you will see that you get a README text in that zip file as well. And if we double click on that and open it, and it's opening on Notepad++ on another window here, and we view this, just read the information here, and you'll see that. Um, most browsers will find the Apple icons in the root folder of your website. Uh, read through this and you'll see that if there's somewhere else on your website uh, or in what you're doing your web hosting that you need to point uh, to where these uh, Apple Touch icons are, here are some, uh, some code that you put in the head of your HTML page. But the real pro tip I want you to see is that down here, special note, on Joomla websites, copy the favicon.ico to your active template folder at templates forward slash your template name. Now, what that means is this favicon.ico or favicon, I forget how we decided to just uh, call that in another, um, in another uh, video that I did. Go into your file uh, manager or however you upload files, go into templates and then upload your favicon to the root of the folder for each template that you have. So for instance, here, I know this site is using JD Haulage template, but, or maybe it's using Asteroid template zero or Asteroid template one, I may, you may have different templates, multiple templates assigned to different pages. Go into them, each one at a time, go upload, and then I'll be dragging from the other side over here. Just drag that favicon.ico up, just put it in there, just in case there's a browser or something that is looking for um, looking for your favicon.ico. Oh yes, and one other thing that I mentioned too. Remember back here, um, Apple Touch icon pre-composed. This is uh, something that Apple does, uh, maybe some older versions of Safari or something that devices do. I've read up on a bit online. Uh, it was too much to understand. All I know is there's stuff looking for the same uh, icons uh, the same uh, Apple Touch icons with the name precompose.png. So in that case, what I would do is go and then make a copy of these images somewhere and at the end, rename them, put in dash precompose, make sure you spell it properly, and then go ahead and upload that version of those icons as well and you will fix these as well. 
So that's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. As always, please subscribe, ring the bell to get notifications, uh, give the video a like, and YouTube's showing you some other things to watch. It'll be helpful. Please do. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.